Hi, I'm with Badger Basket, here to show you the assembly instructions for model number 1723. Before you get started, make sure you look at all the pieces and you have everything required for the assembly. If you're missing anything or have any damaged parts, please contact Badger Basket as listed in the instruction video. Let's get started. For this assembly, I'm going to combine steps 1 and step 2 to make this a little bit easier. We're going to grab side A. What you'll notice is that one of the sides will have two holes at the bottom. This will be the inside. And we're going to grab one of these bottom rails. You'll see these bottom rails have a dowel and a hole. The dowel is going to go towards the bottom and the groove is going to go towards the inside. So this one, for example, is going to go right here. We'll put that dowel and put that in place. And then we're going to take these long screws and screw from the other side here. We're going to take the other bottom rail as well, which again, dowel to the bottom, hold to the top, and groove to the inside, and put that in place as well. Now for this assembly, I'm going to be using a drill to make it a little bit easier. Just make sure if you're using a drill that you have the torque setting on the lowest possible torque. You are also welcome to use a hand Phillips screwdriver for this assembly. So once we get these screwed in place, we're next going to go to these side rails, labeled as part B. You're going to notice again that there's a groove on one side and then the holes on the other. Make sure the groove is to the bottom and to the inside. These two holes here will align to the two holes here and we're going to screw those again from the back side using these long screws. We're going to do the same on the other side. Groove will go towards the inside and on the bottom, like so. So after you've gotten these screwed in, we're next going to be placing in the bottom panels. Now the easiest way to do this is to tip it up on its side. And these bottom panels are labeled part D. You'll notice one side is white and the other side is brown. The brown is going to be facing down, white facing towards the top of the crib. So first let's put in this one. Now if you put this in correctly where the grooves are facing towards the inside, these panels should slide right down in place. Like so. And then we'll put in the other bottom panel. Again, going right to those grooves. Brown facing down and the white facing towards the top. Now the last part for steps one and steps two is to put on the last side panel, steps A. So if you remember, there's going to be those two holes that you're going to see at the bottom. Those are going to go to the bottom because they're going to match with that dowel that's down at the bottom rail. So what I'm going to do is put this right in place like so. I'll get those dowels put in that bottom hole. And we'll get this screwed in place by putting all six screws in. So what we're going to be doing is starting the assembly of the canopy. When looking at these corner posts, there are two that are labeled T and two that are labeled U. The T's are in reference to your right side when looking at the cradle. So for you, this is your right side. This is where the T connector will be going. On this side is your left, which is where the left U connector will be going. The reason they're labeled as such is because there's a small slit here in the connector which is where the headboard and the footboard will go into. So when you put it on, it can slide down to place. The important part about this though, is that these holes are facing towards the inside, towards each other. So if you put this down and it aligns with the headboard, but your holes are not on this side, you have the wrong connector piece. So I'm gonna put this connector piece, I'm gonna slide this one down to place, as far as it can go down to meet the headboard. So I'll show you with this one here. So now we're going to take the connector piece U, 
and we're going to be putting it on this side. Again, this slot here is for the footboard or headboard, and these holes are towards the inside. So we're going to put it on here and slide it down to place. Now when you see the actual sides here, there's a hole here that align to this hole of the connector. That's why these need to match up. So we're going to slide that down into place. I'm going to do the same on these two sides. So now looking at this side, this is your right, which is where the T piece will go. The T connector again just slides down into place so that these holes on the inside align. And lastly, the U again will slide down to place to again meet up with that hole. So once you have all four connectors into place, we're going to take these V screws and we're going to screw into these bottom holes so that it is screwed into this frame. Next we're going to be putting the corner post into place. When looking at the corner post, you're going to see a large hole and a small hole. The small hole is going to align to that top hole on that connector piece. The large hole is going to be used for the top for the canopy. So when putting these corner posts into place, you have to have the small hole facing towards the inside aligning with that hole on the top of that connector piece. So we're going to put this in and slide it right down into place. We're going to do that into all four of the corner posts. Again, small hole to the bottom matching with that top hole on that connector piece. Once you have all corner posts down, what we're going to be doing is taking those last four of the V screws and we're going to be screwing into the top hole to hold those corner places in. So next what we're going to be doing is putting in the canopy supports. So what you're going to do is you're going to put these in between those corner posts that we just put in with the curve going up. Now each of these holes will align to those holes that I said had to face each other. And we're going to be putting in these smaller screws to hold these in place. After you have the canopy supports up, we're going to be putting part G right underneath that canopy support. So what you're going to have are holes here that will be facing up to the holes on the canopy support and we'll take these small screws that will be going down to hold that in place. So let's get this screwed in. Once you have the canopy up, we're going to set aside the crib here and we're going to start to put together the mobile. So what you're going to do is grab part J here and your decorative pieces and we need to assemble this. So what you're going to do is you're going to put from the bottom the string going up the outermost hole and down the inner hole. Now once you get to the underside, tie a knot so it stays in place. So let's get all four of these put on.
Once you have the mobile put together, what we're going to do is put a hook on the underside of this part G that you had put in before. And as you will notice, there is a hole on the bottom where that hook is going to go into place. This is where that mobile is going to hook into so it can hang. So you're going to take this little hook that kind of has a screw on the end and twist that up into place. Once you have the hook in place, you're going to put the mobile motor on there and hook on the round part. So this round circle will go right into the hook. This bottom hook is where the mobile will hook into place, like so. So next we're going to assemble the baskets, which is parts K and part L. Now for the baskets, what you're going to do is unfold this here so it is open and you're going to put part L into it. So you'll notice that the fabric is only on one side. Make sure you have the fabric pointing up. We're going to put this in the base. Push that down nice and tight so that it holds it securely. So let's do that with both baskets. Open this one up and we're going to slide this one down into place. So next we're going to be putting in the bumper and the liner. For this part, you'll be taking part O and we'll be putting it right in the bo bottom of the crib here. Now when you fold up the side, you're going to see that these ribbons are sitting off to the side and we're going to tie them at each corner and the middle to hold the sides up in place. So let's get those tied. Next, we're going to be putting on the fabric canopy. For this part, you're going to be taking part number P and putting it right over top so that the four corners kind of have that curtain piece draping over them. So with that, we're going to take these pieces of ribbon that they have given us and we're going to tie them around the corners here so that it stays in place. And the last thing to do is to put in your doll accessories. We've got the blanket, the pillow, the two doll baskets, which will be for all those doll accessories. And lastly, you can turn on your mobile and we're all set. If you have any questions for Badger Basket, please make sure you reach out to them. Otherwise, have a great day and thanks for watching.